Caribbean, on the shore of one of the American Virgin Islands, sits a strange crumbling building. It's a monument to perhaps the most remarkable period in the history of animal science. In the 1960s, a group of researchers came here to study dolphins. Dolphins have been here 65 million years. Christ, we're just getting out of the trees. They know more than we do. Inspired by new discoveries about the animal mind, the researchers believed they could, for the first time, communicate with another species by teaching dolphins to speak. Why not? <laughs> That's what I kept saying. Let's do this. Hello. Speak English only, Peter. Their work had extraordinary ambition. Scientists believed if they could talk to dolphins, they could even talk to extraterrestrials. So are we alone in the universe? Are there other creatures out there that we might uh, get to know? It wasn't science fiction. It was, wow, this is where we're going. But what started with 60s idealism would spiral into the darkness of the decade and end in tragedy. The worst experiment in the world I've read somewhere was me and Peter. Until now, those involved have never spoken publicly about the experiment. But 50 years on, they've broken their silence to reveal just what happened within these walls. Communication is what defines us as humans. We're a social species which wants to talk to others. And not just other people. It's long been a human dream to be able to talk to the animals. Do this, Mickey. Early experiments in the 20th century involved trying to teach the great apes sign language and even how to speak English. Another sound resembles the letter K. Vicky, sit up, girl. Come on. Do this. Vicky has to hold her hand over her nose. 